in my Bible, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 47, verse 12 says, You can have fruits, like this one here, semengo, semengo tree, very, very beautiful. You can have fruits as your food. Whenever Christine comes around, she's always sharing with you the easiest ways, the quickest ways you can have food on the table. So today, what are we going to look at? Welcome to my channel. I'm the principal farmer. Today, what do we have? This is a mango tree. I planted it something like eight months ago, and it has been growing all tall. It is just growing tall. It's not bringing me branches around. I have a few branches like this one here, but this one here, it's just growing tall. So for today, I want us to look at this mango tree, how we can make it to have more branches. And what are we going to do? It is something very easy because I bring you the cheapest, the easiest, the quickest and best methods of farming anybody can use and have food on the table. So today, what are we going to do? This mango here, which is just growing tall, um, I came with a knife here. I have a knife, a garden knife. And it's what we are going to use to have this mango produce us more branches. What are we going to do? It is something very simple. I think I can put these branches to be around here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut from this point. Beautiful. So I've, what I've done is just cutting off the upper part, the growing point of this mango tree. And this mango tree, when you cut it like this, it's going to send signals that growth was going on. And when it sends those signals that growing, growth was going on, it's going to bring more branches from this point here. When I show you from one of the mangoes, which I've been working on, let me take you around my garden. I have a lot of fruits here. I have apples. I have mangoes. I have guavas. But I have one. It's just uh, not far from the other one. It's just right here. When you look at this one, I did the same process which I've just shown you. And I did it from this angle here. Actually, that day I even didn't have a knife with me. I just came and broke off and removed the upper part from that mango tree, from this mango tree. After something like a month, it has brought us very many branches around as you can see them. They are just too many. I'm actually just planning to cut off some. So that is one of the ways you can have a lot of food on the table. Christine is ever here to give you the easiest, the cheapest, the best methods anybody can use and farm. Subscribe to my channel. We farm together. We create very many hunger-free communities around the globe such that people can have a smile on their faces. A hungry person is always an angry one. I'm always here to see that people can have food on the table. So this mango tree he has brought us a lot of branches. And why the branches are many? Why do we have to endeavor to have very many branches? Uh, when you have a lot of branches like these ones, we hope when it has reached the size of production to give us fruits, we shall have enough fruits. And when you have people like to help you harvest them, they can just hold from this one, then they reach this one. If there are children around and they want to climb on a tree like this one, it becomes very easy for them to play with. So having very many branches on a tree, I think it is not just fun, but it will give you more fruits. Production will be high. So what do you have to do again at the end of the day? Uh, you'll trim those ones you see they are not productive. Then at the end of the day, you'll have a lot of fruits around. That is all I wanted to share with you today in this very video. Stay blessed. Subscribe on my channel. May the good Lord bless you all.